Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome to my purse closet. <laughs> You guys know I love to shop, so obviously I've amassed quite the collection. You guys know I call my house the Sky Castle, so I built this whole little mini purse castle for my bags. You remember this is what it looked like before. Literally built it all myself, it was a whole event, but now it looks like this. And over here on the left is all of my life's collection, my purses. It's just so many of them, but we'll start with this one because this was my very first ever designer bag. This is full Swarovski Crystal Versace. Look at this. This is just so beautiful. I always say this, but buying this bag was literally one of the absolute purest, happiest days of my life. I just, I could just squeal thinking about it. Like, look at me buying it. Truly one of the happiest moments of my life. Gold chain, the gold Medusa head. This bag is forever iconic. This is probably my favorite one too because it holds sentimental value. If the house was burning down, I'd take this one. That's why he sits in the center there. So you can see this also doubles as my shoe closet. But you guys already saw that, so we're gonna focus on my purse babies. But just to show them off, you guys know I have the gold shoes to match this bag. Magical, my Cinderella moment, truly. That's actually one of the only bags I ever bought new in the store. Most of my bags are vintage. I love vintage shopping. It's just so cool because everything is like so unique and different. You know, it's the kind of thing that uh, you just don't see every day. It's like living art history. It's so cool. You guys know this one is just the creme de la creme of bags. This is the 1995 Runway Heart Bag Karl Lagerfeld. Iconic. Like remember it from the best Chanel runway show of all time, spring, summer, 1995. I love this runway show so much. I literally got the full fit. I have the skirt, I have the jacket, I have the belt. I love this bag. I guess if the house was burning down, I would also bring this bag. I'd probably try to grab a lot of them to be honest. <laughs> Especially because this was probably my best investment bag. This one has literally times 10 in value since I bought it. So, but I'm cha-ching. <laughs> I think the biggest number that I have of any brand is Chanel. They are just so beautiful and classy and timeless. This is one of my favorites. I got this one in Japan. You can see it's like a metallic-y gold. Unbelievable, it's like woven fabric. Not to mention very photogenic. It's been on IG like a million times. I love this bag. This one actually ended up being a great investment too, by the way, if you're into like business savviness. I bought this for pennies compared to what it's worth now, and mine is actually even more rare than this style. There's a whole math side of purse buying. Mostly I was just lucky, because I love this one. <laughs> I'll never sell it anyway. I also got this one in Japan on the same trip. Um, This has dog fur all over it, my God, but this is also the same vintage style. Look at this. This is velour with the top swirly twirly handle. Also super rare and super cool. Looks pretty fire with this dress, actually. This is another super cool one. This is a white little classic flap bag. Adorable, it's got the caviar leather and the gold hardware. Classic Chanel chain. So cute. This is actually meant to be a crossbody bag, but I like to play around with them. Sometimes I just double up the chain and you can hold it as a clutch. Adorable. This is a Chanel Kelly bag. These do not exist anymore. See, it's kind of orange with the gold hardware, top handle. Unique color, I just like this one. So fun. I feel like this is like a business lady bag. So corporate. <laughs> I'm trying to be all professional. Do you hear the damn noise in the background? I'm literally having painters paint my house right now. Oh, so it's very chaotic out here, LOL. Ryan. <laughs> hi. You guys can see it's a mess trying to pick a color, good God, but I'm thinking this, fabulous. Anyways, that's what's happening in the middle of my professional purse video. So, back to the closet. Another bag that looks very similar. I'm super into the Chanel top handles. This was spring summer 2005. This is like a rosy pink, again, gold hardware. All of my bags have gold hardware, but this one is just, I don't know, I like it. You just don't see this one every day. Mm. So take me on a picnic. This one is also vintage. This is the Diana Chanel bag. You can see, again, surprise, gold hardware. This bag is called the Diana bag because Princess Diana had it. Oh, like, look at that. Fit for a princess, quite literally. <sighs> History. 
speaking of Princess Diana, we got the beautiful Diana style sapphire necklace on 333. So gorgeous. We have the mini version, comes with little matching earrings. That's the small version. And then the one that I'm wearing, the larger version, um, a big like statement style necklace. Oh, fabulous. Again, vintage Chanel. This is my only one with silver hardware, actually. Um, I'm very much a gold girl, but I have shoes that match this. So honestly, that's why I got this bag. <laughs> Oh yes, look at that. So gossip girl. You guys know I buy shoes to match bags and bags to match shoes literally all the time. It's just like a thing that I do. Like y'all know I have the matching Gucci boots to match my Gucci bag. This is actually a Gucci Jackie bag. This was a favorite of Jackie O back in the day. I like this bag so much. I actually have the exact same bag in two colors, though this one you can see is unique with the little like Tiffany blue trim and rose gold. So it's a little different. The pop of color is just so fun. Aside of Chanel, the other brand that I have the most of is Louis Vuitton. Specifically again, the vintage styles. Most of the ones that I have are actually a collab with Takashi Murakami, just amazing Japanese artist who's responsible for all of the early 2000s fabulosities they created. This is one of my favorites. This is the cherry bag. You can see the cute little cherries. They actually have faces on them. They're smiling. Huh? Bella Hadid has the giant luggage shaped one. I am Bella Hadid. I also have these two. This is the little mini white speedy, absolutely adorable with the rainbow on it. This was just one of the most iconic bags in all of early 2000s history and really in general. If Caddy Heron had it, I needed it. This is the black one, a little bigger and equally fabulous. This little denim one is super cool. Alexa Demi has this. I also have the matching shoes, literally to die. Of all my Louis Vuittons, this one is definitely the wildest. <laughs> Get it? Wild, like in the wild. It's like literally actually fuzzy. It's got cheetah prints, the monogram. You hold it like this. It's weird. <laughs> Another one that's super unique is my pink furry Fendi. It is so cool. They actually only made like very, very few pink ones. Most of them are the monogram brown, but you can see this is like soft baby pink with the gold hardware. <gasps> so cute. I have a lot of furry bags as it turns out. This is a white fluffy Chanel. This is my winter in Paris bag. I literally bought this because I thought it would look really chic on like an Aspen ski slope. Not that I've ever been to Aspen or been skiing, but someday, manifesting. <laughs> And you guys know my crowning achievement in life is my Birkin bag. <laughs> it's beautiful. You guys saw me buy this in my buying myself a Birkin video. It is gorgeous. I got this nice little baby yellow color. I actually only exclusively use this when I'm trying to flex on men on dates. Let them know who they're dealing with. But yeah, we don't really use this in real life. He's for decor. Just a really cool thing to cross off the mood board, you know? As Cher said, mom, I am a rich man. I even bought a ring to match the bag, so very share energy. Um, that ring is also available on 333, so if you want to twin with me, that's live there. But um, anyways, bags. <laughs> all that glitters is not always gold, but all that glitters is always my favorite. So this is my little glittery Prada bag. Oh, look at how gorgeous. This just kind of reminded me of like a miniature shopping bag. And y'all know I love to shop, so it just made sense. The bag I bought most recently is this one, Fendi. Gold hardware, oversized. I forget the name of this bag, but I got this on Poshmark. <laughs> I buy stuff on Poshmark all the time. I sell stuff on Poshmark all the time. If you guys want to shop in my closet, that's linked below. But anyways, yeah, good stuff. I just thought the handle was really cool. This is the Zucca print, the cool top handle. Awesome bag. Super fun bag. Most unique bag I own in general is definitely this one. This is Dolce & Gabbana, which, albeit cute, look at this. Oh, the butterflies fly, do you see that? This is the coolest bag. Back of it's really cool. Totally gonna bring this with me when I go to Italy in the summer. Bing World Tour Italy, what do you guys think? Like this is literally an adult lunchbox. Love it. What's up here? Love Burberry, but this is actually my only Burberry bag. It's like a cute little, again, lunchbox-esque kind of bag. I'm pretty sure I got this on Grailed like a million years ago. It was included in a haul I did at some point, but that's nice. The shopping room tour in London part two. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 
Here we have a mother and child. Um, this one I actually also got in Japan. It is so small, and when I say pointless, I mean pointless. This holds literally nothing. Like, honestly, work. <laughs> That's why I have this one. If I actually need to carry stuff, this is my other business bitch bag. Very, I'm a dad going to work in the morning. This is my most casual bag. This is my little casual, like when I'm going around town shopping bag. These were actually not for sale. These were gifts for if you are a good customer. <laughs> so naturally I got a few. I don't just keep purses and shoes in here. I actually also have this corner for like my little favorite trinkety things. Like I have this wild Versace pillow. And this one, two in one. So cool. I like the cream side better, but <laughs> so cool. I've got my little Chanel snow globe in here. I don't care that it's not Christmas. It's adorable. My Gucci teddy bear. How fun is this? Got my Chanel umbrella. Woo! <laughs> So fun. Tut tut, looks like Chanel. Oh, I'm Mary Shoppins. And I have the fan I just got in Singapore on display. This just, ugh, oh, this is so cool. Amazing. I also keep empty space up here. You gotta have room for manifesting. You never know what new bags you're gonna fall in love with. <laughs> Like something that I'm obsessed with is Judith Lieber bags. I don't own any, but you guys know what I'm talking about. They're the like crazy little designed, like hold a crystal martini, a crystal dog, a crystal alien, whatever it is that you're into. I just, I would love to have a collection of these someday. It's on the mood board. You know, we all have our vices in life. Mine just happens to be shopping. So that's my purse closet. Thanks for watching. Yes, none of these would be possible without you, so. Thanks. Kisses till next time. XO. Oh, do you like it? I love you, George Biscuit. Oh, I love you. Do you like it? Oh, did you just give it a kiss?